Hi there, this is Christopher with Shining 3D, here to give an unboxing video of the AccuFab Cell. So firstly in the box we're going to pull out our installation guide and certificate, the power cable, our small ceramic build platform, We'll remove the protective foam. And our extra resin tank. Next we have the printer itself. and the protective bag upon it. Next, we remove the packaging from inside the printer. Gently lift the cover to reveal the foam inside. And slide this out while moving up over the build platform. In this packaging will be our toolkit for the printer, which will include the USB with the printer's profile and some handy tools to get started with printing. Next, we'll look at the contents of the toolbox. We have nitrile gloves, some microfiber cloths for cleaning the LCD screen and the touch screen, a rubber spatula for mixing the resin, the resin tank cleaning tool, Some clear files for removing debris from the resin tank. And on the bottom there, we have a toothbrush for helping to clean parts after curing. An ethernet cable for a wired transfer of files. Two metal scrapers for removing parts from the platform manually. An Allen key and some screws for the resin tank. You'll need the Allen key for doing the leveling of the platform. And a USB drive that has the printer's profile on it. The AccuFab Cell is the next generation of 3D printing experience from Shining 3D, boasting high accuracy, speed, reliability, and ease of use for the customer. Next, we're going to go over how to set up your AccuFab Cell. For setting up the AccuFab cell, first we'll need to connect it to power and the power cable. After connecting to power, we can hit the on switch and the machine is going to power on. On first time boot, it's going to ask you to go through the tutorial. Here we will select our language and connect to Wi-Fi. We're going to select wireless network for this 
but you can also use the Ethernet cable for wire connection. Once connected, we'll hit next. And we're prompted to scan a QR code in order to activate our printer. You can scan the QR code with a cell phone. To activate your printer online via your Shining 3D Cloud account. After confirming your information, you'll get an activation succeed message. And the printer will show a successful activation. At this point, if you've removed the packaging, you can hit next, and the platform is going to rise to the top. At this point, the printer is running some motor checks. Now we can remove the packaging from inside of the printer. Once removed, we can finish up the tutorial guide. And we have some settings that we can toggle on and off, like the hood sensor. And the temperature sensor for the cabin. After all settings are set, we can hit next. To print some samples. or you can skip the sample printing step and you'll be brought to the home screen of your printer. Before getting started with printing, I'm going to check for any updates. Go to setting, about, and update software. You can select network update if we're connected to a wireless or wired connection. Find any updates to material packages or firmware here. After the updates are complete, we are ready to start printing. Next, we'll move over to AccuWare to connect our printer to our computer. And now we're in AccuWare. In order to bind our AccuFab cell to our AccuWare version, we need to insert the USB flash drive that's included in the toolbox into our computer. And if it's your first time starting AccuWare up, you will get prompted to import the printer's profile. Otherwise, you can go to Settings, Import Printer Profile, and we're going to do the offline import, which is the first option here. It's going to bring up a menu. Uh, if you have a USB inserted, it's going to bring up the USB. And here you will find an SNDEV file, which is the printer's profile. And just double check that it's the same serial number is your printer. We'll open that. And we will now be able to select our printer from the list of printer serial numbers. If your printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer running AccuWare, you will see it as online or ready. And it will also appear in the printer list in the top right corner. Now that your printer is connected with AccuWare, you can uh, nest files, slice them, and send them directly to the printer over the wireless network, or through Ethernet, or via USB. That concludes the setup for the AccuFab cell. We're looking forward to any feedback you have on this printer, and excited to see any products that are made with this. Thank you so much for watching.